We've got Rebecca from Sky, <laughs> that's the first two, and then it'll be hands up, which uh, we are going to need hands up from uh, the attendees, or it'll be a very short press conference. So, uh, Rebecca, you've got the first couple of questions, and then we'll go around. Yeah, first of all, congratulations. How important was that result? And how confident are you you can make the top four now, given you've got just six points off Leicester and that game in hand? Oh, it was a big one for us, obviously, tonight. Um, we really needed that. Um, and it was a tough one as well. So it means it's always like this against Southampton. I can't remember a game in Southampton, but it felt like um, kind of comfortable. It's long ago. We played years ago an FA Cup game, I think maybe um, when we won with six, but it was not before. It was before Ralph. And um, they obviously have a very intense style and they asked for everything. And um, yeah, we did, we did a really, we did a really good job. And I'm happy about that. You know, we scored the goals. Um, obviously, being 1 0 up is in a moment for us not the result where we all feel halfway through. Which is good because you should not. But um, we had obviously now twice in a row a similar situation, and so scoring that second goal was obviously a big relief. What that means for our top four hopes, if that they are still alive, <laughs> that's all, nothing else, and it's nothing to do with confidence or whatever. We don't. We our situation changed slightly, but only for us. For the other teams, not too much, because they are still in a better position. We have to. Uh, we know that um, the only thing we can do is winning our games, but that's really tough because we play on Thursday Manchester United, and that will um, his, that's historically not easy. Um, but we will give it a try. And just a word on Thiago, because obviously his first goal for Liverpool, we must be pretty pleased for him. I am, and he played really well. Not the first time, obviously, but he played really well. He looked looked really good um, in, in in pretty much all departments. Helped us a lot with his passing game. Um, played top top passes. To be honest, was defensively there. So that's all really good and really important. But we all had to work hard, and so um, he had a lot of good situations. But the most important was when he finished, <laughs> when he scored that goal, and I'm really pleased with him. Okay, thank you, Becky. We'll go to Carl Markham and then to Harry Pratt. Carl first. Hey, Jürgen. Hi, Carl. Hi. At this stage of the season, is, is it... Well, the best game we ever played, but it was the game we had to play tonight. It's about, it's not about, I said a couple of times when I dream and say everything has to click again. So again, we didn't use the first chances. We had really good moments. We had top, top class counter-taking situations when the last pass was just not there. That can happen, obviously, in, in, other, in other moments, and it's not that important for us in a the moment. They hurt. Uh, but we scored the first. That's very important. And um, in the moment when we conceded in the last games, the equaliser, we scored the second, and that's the big difference. So, yes, the result is the most important. Okay, thanks, Carl. We'll go to Harry, then Dom, and then Dave Maddock. Harry. Hi, Jürgen. Hi. Congratulations tonight. Um, Thank you. Oh, your Wi Fi seems to have gone there, Harry. Um, we'll come back to you. We'll go to Dom King if Dom's ready, and we'll, come, we'll try yeah. again in a second, Harry. Uh, Dom yeah, King. Yeah, again, I was just going to ask you about the importance of Allison's performance tonight. He was there whenever you whenever you needed him. Absolutely, yeah, great game with a little ex too exciting thing. <laughs> he passed the ball to Jay Adams, but apart from that, a great game. Uh, obviously, we are all together waiting for Mrs. Becker's for the next Becker baby. Um, that's so he's constantly we are, we are. It's like okay, still not no, still not. So and obviously the future father of three um, did a really good job and um, yeah we knew that before obviously that is a good one and tonight he showed it again okay, thanks Tom we'll go to Ian Whittle and we'll try Harry again after that Ian thanks hi Jürgen um, Oli Solskjaer said he, he's going to have to rotate players maybe play some kids uh, this week because of the fixture congestion he's got and he said you know some people aren't going to be happy with me for doing that but, it, but I've got no choice Obviously, one of the games is against you. One of his games is against Leicester. Do you think that's kind of a bad look for the Premier League? It's kind of, you know, the integrity of the competition when one of the top four managers is having to play weakened teams by his own admission. 
as long as we have that, to, we have to do that very often, and people never like it because it's always like this. So when we have cup competitions, when we when we have games over games over games, and then we we, we, we rotate, and people always think we don't respect the competition. Now I think everybody is 100% sure that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer respects the Premier League 100%. But the situation um, is now like it is, and I really think it's crazy what uh, what we did with that. That, that this it, I know there are not proper solutions <laughs> but I think there could have been a better solution than that I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not sure is it possible that United has a, a weekend off after that or something like that so three games in kind of five days but then a weekend off so it looks like there would have been a, a, a window uh, where we could have done slightly different but it's a decision so and um, I understand um, that he doesn't like that definitely we will see what we make of that so um, it's it's we have we have a tough program ourselves because of that because now we have two twice we, we play the last four games as well in a very short period of time so that's how it is um, and we will see what we can make thank you we'll try Harry again and we'll finish with Dave Manning Harry hi Jürgen hi yeah, hi um, Jürgen is it just a case really now of, of making sure you get those maximum points from the four games and then keep the fingers crossed oh um, it, it, that's actually all. keep the fingers crossed. I'm not sure if that if that helps. <laughs> but um, no, look, it's we have to win. We have to win football games, and I think to I think if we win all four, then it could be enough. But just because Leicester plays against Tottenham, they play so they play against each other. I think I didn't really think it through to be honest. But winning four games, I think, is pretty much the only chance we have. So, and um, that's what we should try. And it will be difficult, but we will try it anyway. Fantastic. And final question of the press conference, Dave Maddock. Jürgen, I just wonder whether you think it's almost in keeping with your season that you, you, you look like you're almost going to be penalised for, for nothing that you've done with, with Manchester United, maybe having to play a weakened team against Leicester and then play and possibly playing a strong team against you. It's like you almost expect things like to happen now with, with your season, the way it's gone. No, I didn't think about that yet so far. So I think we would have played the strongest United team possible when, on the actual date. So that's what we expect, nothing else. So yeah, if Man United is doing it like that, we cannot change that. So um, I think Man United has just only good players. So um, if I think about the players they could play, um, then I have a really, uh, a really strong side um, available. And um, so, uh, yeah, pretty good. So midfield, wow, up front, all good players. Um, they might be young, but they're good. So, well, we, I expect a strong team against us. And what they do in other games, we have, we, we obviously have no influence. Um, but we have, would have, how said, we would have played. Last Saturday, I think it was, would have played the strongest Man United side. That's what we expect now. Thank you, everybody. Safe journey, Simon, for those of you at the game, and uh, speak to the rest of you during the week. That's us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.